Of boats carrying mostly black African migrants looking for greener pastures in the West, only to end up in body bags on European shores. Strangely enough, those countries that pretend to love Africans so much that they are always preaching to African leaders about good governance, the rule of law and respect for human life and rights have been apparently eerily quiet about the very dangerous, racist, and inhuman behavior of deliberately causing boats carrying black Africans to sink. Only to select a few lucky ones to be rescued and sent to concentration camps called asylum seekers camps. These camps are as bad as Nazi concentration camps, and nobody, country or, or human rights institution in the West has ever raised the alarm to this genocide in the 21st century. <laughs> Mr. President, if earlier Africans that received the European explorers before colonialism treated them the same way, Africa would not have been colonized for 400 years. The so-called European explorers were nothing sort of people seeking greener pastures for their fellow Europeans as Europe then had turned into brown pasture. After 400 years of colonial looting and misrule in Africa, Africa is reduced from green now to brown pasture due to overgrazing. Now African explorers are not only unwelcome, but are greeted with instant death on European source. This is unacceptable. Therefore, Mr. President, the UN must conduct a full an impartial investigation into this man-made catastrophe that is the sinking, capsizing of these boats carrying young Africans to Europe. If these boats are able to cross the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea only to sink on European coasts, we must find out what deadly mysterious force exists on the European Mediterranean coast that caused boats carrying young Africans to disintegrate and sink upon arrival. Mr. President, racism, greed, and hate can only breed hatred, hatred, violence, and disastrous confrontation between races. We African leaders would stand up together, I hope, to protect these young Africans from mass murder on European coasts. I hereby call on the UN to commission such an in investigation as a matter of priority and urgency in order to avert a major racial confrontation. We have a right as Africans to defend our black people wherever they are. As we welcome all races to Africa, we will not accept that Africans are treated like dogs and they get away with it. That is unacceptable. If the UN fails to take action, we will take action and the action we take will be determined by us. In the Gambia, we don't attack a person because you are white or black or because of your religion. No foreigner in the Gambia will say, I was attacked because I'm a foreigner. Any foreigner that comes into contact with the police is because he has co committed an offense for which even a Gambian would be arrested. If we cannot tolerate each other, the world will never see peace because nobody can stop migration. The Almighty Allah created this world for us to move around. The same way you moved around when Europe was bankrupt. You came to Africa for 400 years. We never killed you. (Applause) 
You overstayed, and some of us have to fight you out. And now you want to, now we have overgrazed our land. You also want greener pastures, you cannot accept us. Send us back, but don't kill them. You have no right to kill them. <laughs> Mr. President, the, for the Gambia, out of hundreds of European explorers that came to the Gambia in those days, only one European died on the river Gambia over a span of 400 years. Today, over a span of five years period, more than 500 Gambians have lost their lives on European coasts. This is unacceptable. Enough is enough, and the UN must intervene, and intervene quickly, or else we will all live to regret our failure to take appropriate action at the right time. Mr. President, geopolitical realities have changed. Let the West accept these realities and together with us endeavor to change along with these realities as we move together towards the brighter and peaceful future we want. So-called military superpowers should know that humanity will be, will be returned to pre-stone age if they are reckless enough to unleash World War III. Mr. President, you cannot have your cake and eat it anyhow you please, and at the same time dictate to others how, when, and where they should eat their cake. In the 21st century, humanity needs only superpowers of peace and development, and not the medieval Europe type of warmongers. We can't accept. Why can't we accept? the diversity of the human race and its attendant diversity in culture, religion, and way of life as each diverse group deems fit. I thank you for your attention. On the behalf of the General Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Republic of the Gambia for the statement made, may I request the representative to remain seated while we greet the president. <laughs>